Yo guys, what's up? My name's Jess. We're gonna talk about this monitoring stand, so to speak. Okay? So the monitoring stand is one of the greatest updates in the game. We're talking about recent, recent updates, okay? So number one, set work mode. You can always set them to whatever you want. You wanna annihilate the sanity, by all means go for it. They're not the sanity depletes faster than their hunger depletes, so that's the that that's what you gotta go by, okay? So even if you personally Give them the best sanity food in the game. We're talking like some big ass cheeseburgers, 36 sanity increase, you know, things like that. Even cakes, which honestly I do not recommend. Um, they are gonna chew through that like there's no tomorrow. So, set your work mode, blah, blah, blah. You can go, eh, relax, work. They don't really do much. They don't really provide much, but their depletion drains at a slower rate. When you go for the normal, it's just regular road, normal. Hard work, yeah, they're a bit faster. I don't really do this one. Even if I ha even if I have them all jacked out, still no. In super hard work, well, you're gonna see them zoom by. You're gonna see my frame rates drop, and you're gonna see their sanity along with yours deplete to zero, practically. This fly, but it'll fuck right off. Number two, set work preferences. This is the big one. For the okay, I'm gonna do a separate guide on this, but <clears throat> maybe I'll actually just do this here. So take the highest value of a specific work task prioritize that for every single pal lilines level four planting level two harvest get them out of harvest they do not do harvest they do not do handiwork three two level is significantly lower than level four humongous change it's probably like 60 percent better than level uh three understand good next we got the classic anubis right here make Pretend, make like a, a Venn diagram in your head, okay? And then in the middle, you're gonna slot where, you know, they they meet the threshold of, okay, they're good, or, and then they're not good. So we got the transportations of Anubis. People love Anubis. Before, like, before the, uh, the whole mining thing happened where they made a coal mining site, sulfur mining site, Anubis would, were, were the ones to transport. They would run Anubis to transport 24-7. Over in like the mountainy area where you would have coal and ore, but now there's no purpose to that because they are more suitable for mining and handiwork. You see, level three mining, one of the best in the game. Level four handiwork, probably the best in the game, I'd say. I take my Anubis off of level two transport because look at this. Scroll all the way down. Bum 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 bum. We got soul transporters, nocturnal. Hell Zephyrs, I recommend slotting in the passive skills for maximum movement speed, okay? Work speed, such as the Artisan perk, does not affect transportation speed. Work speed only affects their working, not their moving, okay? Once you do that, well, you're good to go. I unfortunately have yet to breed them. I should actually get on that and breed a ton of them. I just need to find some good... Well, actually, I need to breed up the maximum movement speed one, which I believe is Nimble, Swift... Runner, and uh, that might be it. I think there's only three, so I need to do that. Okay, for the useless ones that are only there for support, you have two options. Take their handiwork off, or keep it on for something later in the video that we're going to talk about. Honestly, I would take them off and just let them doodle around in the base. Um, because what they're what I use them for is for my personal taste, and it's for like the mounting, mounting machine gun stuff, like the stuff down here i have them sit there well the mushroom guy's not there yeah i got i got lulu over there defending and i, ju I just like seeing my ammo be used my the ammo that i don't use be used and but it's just not gonna happen like it, it it doesn't function at all okay back to it look at the wimpos they are level four transport they got level three wood cutting that's great right yeah it's dandy but i want them solely to be transporting i'd rather have them have a chunk of stuff in their hands, then have them swing at a tree at the same rate as another pal. But, you know, these guys have more to offer for transport than woodcutting. Okay, we're scrolling down, 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 down. We're gonna talk about these two later in the next part of the video. We got the Nocturnal Bushi, who are exactly on par with the new pal, the also new pal, known as like Prickster or something, who has level 3 woodcutting. Okay, level 3 lumbering. I, cut, I see wood cutting because I played RuneScape a lot, so, and it's literally a log, so yeah. Jack them up to Artisan. I don't have Artisan right now, and I don't really care for logs that much because they just, you know, I only use it for charcoal and carbon fiber. 
Um, so yeah, back to the Wumpos. Level 4 transport. Level 4 transport. Okay, talking about the rush room. Why are they here? They're only level 1. They're only level 1, right? They are only level 1 mining. What's the greatest thing about that? Well, here's the kicker, okay? Here is the kicker about Sir Rush Wars. One is male and one is female. What am I gonna do with that? Check this out. Press the letter C or whatever fixed assignment thing you have and scroll down to the breeding pen. I don't have to physically pick them up and chuck them in there. Before, before this update, before this update, you would have to physically pick them up it was brutal it was brutal you would have to, i'm not gonna pick him up here stuff in the sand but you would have to physically pick them up chuck them into the pen and it was really tiring because look look at this if i had to do that i'd have to go all the way up all the way up there you know i had to go all the way up but no no we're not we're not letting that happen and you can go back to cooling all that food thank you gotcha good and check this out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna interrupt the little session for a bit. Watch this. We're gonna take them out, pretend that we we, we didn't have the intention of breeding them, and then we will have the intention of breeding them in like two seconds. Watch this. Okay, now I can actually find them though. Oh god. They should they should be here still. Oh no. Okay, wait, let, let me let me just Okay, so la 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 I want to breed my rush ores. Oh wow, I have a male and female. Sure, I'll put them in. We got big dog and we got little dog. Okay, so I'm like, well, I don't want to lug them all the way up there. Well, what am I supposed to do now? I know. I will click the fix assignment, go to my breeding pen, which sometimes has to load in for some reason. Sometimes these appliance, this, these facilities do not load in immediately. Okay, so I select it. Now it's going to go beep, and then it's going to hover. It's going to... We are on lowest graphics, by the way. It's going to hover on what? Or it's going to provide me on what's already selected and what's not. So I'm going to select the two rush ore and chuck them in there from commanding them at my monitoring stand. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Okay, look at the big dog. We're going to follow him. We're going to follow them both. Oh, he got stuck. <clears throat> we don't have to do it. We don't have to do anything. The only thing we have to do is get in there, load up the eggs... If it, if it uh, exceeds like the maximum capacity, you got to get in there and start loading up the eggs. Put the cake in there. And check that timer. Look at that timer. It's slowly getting up. Oh my god, they did it. They made me an egg. How'd they make me an egg already? Oh, I think this is an Anubis egg. Oh no, it's a rush ore, huh? Funky. Oh, there's, there's no philanthropist here. What is this? That was really fast, but I'm trying to my, uh, get a nocturnal rush ore that's lucky. Also a workaholic. And then I'm going to try to breed an artisan trait into that. Or into a serpent. And then I'm going to breed them both to create a dig toys that's a nocturnal, artisan, workaholic. And maybe if I can get lucky and find a work speed in there, I'll slot them into. It'll be the most broken mining pal ever. I mean, Anubis is great and all. And Dig Twice also has the issue with getting, like, stuck. But I'm trying to go for it for another video. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please leave a like, come subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. Whee. I see trees.